Yo, what's up guys? Woke up today early, I started exercising. Mom started shouting at me because I was shadow boxing in my room. <laughs> it's 7.30, according to my routine, I have to be reading now. But I didn't meditate, and I do want to meditate, so I think I'm going to meditate for like 15 minutes. I still have the hour to read, and at 9 a.m. I'm going to start working. Because 9 a.m. I'm turning on my computer to work. That's when I'm starting video edit, to video edit. So I can get the 15 minutes of meditation session through, easy. What I want to talk about today is exercising is selfish. Exercising is a purely selfish endeavor. And selfish, selfish, being selfish in general has been bastardized. It's bad to be selfish. It's bad to be self-concerned. It's bad to be involved in your own self-development, almost. Now, if you say it's bad to be involved in your self-development, then it doesn't sound bad, but it's bad to be selfish. Or people are going to be like, duh. If exercise is a purely selfish endeavor. If anyone tells you to exercise, they usually have good intentions for you because if it doesn't benefit them at all, it actually just benefits you. I mean, it might benefit them as as in you might get a good workout partner. But for the most part, when you work out, you work out for you. You don't work out for yourself. No one else. My mom, was just, my mom today was berating me for being selfish in the morning because I was exercising, like making a bunch of fucking noises, jumping all over the place. <laughs> it just reminded me, like, this is a selfish endeavor. Self development, self improvement, self help is all selfish. And I'm not ashamed to be selfish. I want the best for myself. I want to be in good shape. I want to look good. I want to feel good. I want to be richer. I want to buy a wallet. Jesus Christ. I'm casting it with a candle blowing. I'll blow it out again. Is it getting hard in my room? It amazes me. I want, to, I want to be the best version of myself. Yeah, I'm going to be selfish. I'm going to exercise when everyone else is lazy. People that will criticize you for being, for being selfish are usually the lazy. <clears throat> I made a really good quote. I really wanted to say. I might delve into it into another video. I will delve into another video, like elaborating on the topic. But I, I wrote in my journal. Today I'm grateful for waking up early. I woke up at 4, 4, 4.30 a.m. It's like 4.20 a.m. Nice. 4.20 a.m. roughly around that mark. It is now 7.30. I mean, awake for roughly around 3 hours, 10 minutes. I did take, uh, and I started journaling at 5 a.m. I said, today I'm going to wake up early. And then, we'll look at morning sentence. Take that off from my habit tracker. At 6.58 a.m., got, sh got shouted out. It's got shouted at. Called selfish for exercising. The lazy throw in the week. I don't know, that sounds really fucking fire to me. The lazy throw the week. <laughs> it's so true to me. I can, I can already make parallels with real life. I can already make parallels with the British government. The lazy throw the week. A bunch of people put Boris Johnson in power because they believed that he would change the country. Boris Johnson, this country is absolutely idiot. A bunch of people believe that it's not, even, it's not even a political debate, that's fact. That's fact. Have you seen him trying to fend off the, the reporters? Would you like a cup of tea? Would you like a cup of tea? Would you like a cup of tea? Jesus. Jesus. And then you, you people, the lazy throw in the week again, people would want to put Trump into office because then they'll get lower taxes and then cheap gas. And this is not me like hating Trump supporters or supporting supporting Trump in any way. I think lower tax and cheaper gas is good. Benefits me in the short run. Benefits me in the long run as well. However, I do have to say, the lazy throw of the week. Instead of trying to become rich, trying to become financially free, financial freedom would be like five k a month, and you take most of it home, and you get paid in cash. But you, you, you know, pay less taxes. Well, I'm not, well, I'm not promoting tax fraud. 5k a month, you know, on my business, with like 120% or 100% profit margin, 60 to 100% margin, taking most of it home a month. If you say 5k a month, big profit, and then you just get 60 grand a year to just play with it. That's effectively financial freedom. 10k a month, 120k a year. That's complete and utter self actualization type of amount. You can do whatever the hell you want. You have complete and lots of freedom. You have freedom with 5k. You have complete and lots of freedom with 10k. Because with 10k, like, 
you have infinite time in your hands. You, you can save up, you work for the year, get 120k, now you can live off 10k a year for the next 12 years. It's just set if you're just budgeting correctly, which is what I could do. If I spend 40 pounds, if I spend like, like 30, the, the math the math is not mathing in my head, but I spend even less than that. Let's say I spend like 30, 40 pounds a month, a whole week on food shopping, 30 times 52. That's 1.5k a year, or maybe let's say 40 times. What the hell? Time 52. That's 1.5k to 2k a year on food. And then there's bills. And then you, what else? <laughs> that's, that's pretty much it. Would be bills. Bills, my 500 month bills is quite fucking high, but it is somewhat at least. 500 times 12. You got 61k. I did 122 times of it. 600. No, it's 50 times. 500. 6k a year for bills. 500 a month. For bills. That's quite expensive. I think it's much cheaper than that. I don't know what the bills yet. Anyways, the lazy thing of the week. People, want to, people now want Trump back into office because of all the benefits they get. They don't care about Trump. For the most part, well, the average person doesn't care about politics. The lazy for the week, and exercise is selfish. And my own mother, the person that doesn't regularly exercise, the person that isn't in the best physical shape, tell me I'm selfish for exercising. People that were fat and lazy, my old game of friends, will look at me as weird for exercising, they look at me as weird for grinding on the business. Ignoring the gaming sessions, the big, the big gaming sessions. With a fucking hand cam. Yeah, uh huh. Guys, guys, look, look at my amazing. Oh my god, I'm at one DPI. I'm moving my house all over the place. I'm really good at the video game. Oh my god. <laughs> so stupid. Let's see my cat. Can you see him right there? Pongy! Meow! <laughs> Cute. I need that one. <laughs> oh, look at you weird. Show his face. Whoa, smooth. I can't go smiling. People look at you. Uh, I'm just looking at myself smiling. I'm, like, I'm just looking at the OBS. Okay. Yeah. What is this way? I'm just looking at. Wrong way. No monitor. I'm just smiling. People will look at you weird when you're the first improvement habits or the right habits when you try to get your life together. Especially the friends that were lazy and were weak, the beta males. Remember my old friend who I tried to reconnect with recently. I, I showed him my progress, I showed him my mindset, showed him my wallet, my money, and he was like, "Oh yeah, I really want to be like you, bro. Oh, oh you got the money, you got the you're in shape now. You look so different now. You actually look like you don't look ugly anymore." And I was like, "Damn, motherfucker said I don't look ugly anymore." But it is true, I don't look ugly anymore. I think I look okay. Sorry, oh yeah. I don't know, I'm looking good at this. I'm looking good at it. <laughs> I'm not I'm not ugly anymore. My face is lost a lot of weight, my skin's clear for the most part. No more spots. I used to be extremely spotty. How do I say this? He was like, oh yeah, we're gonna you be like you. But before that, before you were telling me like oh, yeah, you were telling me like oh he envies me and envies my progress and he's like, Oh you must be really lucky then. It's not luck, bro. It's hard work and dedication. I did the workouts when no one else was looking. I was grinding my business when no one was looking. I was focusing on my skin. I was researching like skin, skin improvement things. I was doing prime cream and washing my face regularly, and taking care of my hygiene when no one else was looking. It was the aggregation of um, marginal, marginal gains. Aggregation of marginal efforts. Marginal games, I don't remember. Before the envy, before the like, oh, wow, bro, wow. It's 
Sad didn't like me. He didn't like the new me. He didn't like the the change and the grind set and the grind set Jimmy. And we're calling it An Tran. It's not An Tran, it's Chun Don An. And I say Jimmy Chun because that's how my name is actually pronounced. The French came, invaded my country and butchered my name. Thank you, French. I got bullied for that growing up. I believe it's Tran. It's Chun. What if I just put it as Chun so people can see it as Chun? The thing is, guys, people will see the change you, and people will cringe. Because you are a reflection of what they could have been had they made the right choice. Had you had had they made that choice and had you had you stayed the same, they'd be like, yeah, whatever, stay the same. It's just it's just it's just Jimmy. Oh, it's just Jimmy. Oh, wow. Little goofy goofball. And then, then they see you change, they see you get into your fitness journey, they see you make all that money, they see you look, like, literally look different. Be, literally be taller. My some of my friends were that before they used to like to vape and smoke in secondary school or in high school they used to vape and smoke. And like in such a growth, it's such a growth. They, they used to vape smoke, they didn't eat enough, they didn't exercise, and it, like I said before, it's such a growth, and they become short because they, they just lock, lock themselves here. I used to be the same height as these guys, a bit shorter than them, like here. Time flies. I'm like here. I did the good habits, I exercised, I ate in a calorie, calorie surplus. I focus on my skin, my mental health, cold showers, running, sprinting. Now I'm up here, and they're down here. I know genuinely some guys that vape and smoke, like they'll offer me a like, oh, you, you, you wanna hit, you wanna hit? Ew, no. They're here, they're this short. They're forever gonna be this short. And as I dedicated myself to fitness, and as I dedicated myself to sports, and I went, I was selfish. I reap all the good benefits, and I'm living a much better life than them. And I have their wallet, it's like fucking this thin, no money. Oh, it's this th this thick, thick. And of course, materialistic guys, oh, no, show up. Uh, the ego is enemy, but Ryan Holiday, come on. Come on, Jimmy, you stupid bastard. How dare you? How dare you flex? No, I'm not flexing. Because I used to be fat. I used to be short. I used to be broke. I still consider myself broke, though. I think broke is like under 50k in the bank account, though, so. Most people consider my idea of broke to be delusional, but I think under 50 grand in your bank account, you don't really have moving freedom. You can't just do whatever you want spontaneously. I won't go on a date with this girl, go on holiday. I really like this girl, she's really cute. Come to, come to Paris soon. That type of shit, you know what I'm saying? You know, Paris is a bit of a shithole, there's a lot of trash around. <sighs> but it's so expensive. I mean, Couture Fashion Week's nice. The fashion in general is nice in general, but. For the most part, no. Okay. In cultural fashion, it's quite questionable. That's like the literal high echelon society. <laughs> the high echelon society of France. So it's difficult to get one of those invites. Most people like me, even if I was a multi millionaire, it would be so difficult for me to even get an invite. Unless I was a billionaire, of course, I can do the fuck I want. Money. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna build another point, but I think I translate my point pretty well. I'm gonna put this like, super clickbait exercise and selfish as the title. I would be like to make a thumbnail as well. It's my uncut channel. I'm unsure if I should make a thumbnail. I should make it, I should edit this video for the main channel as well, but for the Hmm, you on for the main channel as well. My main, my my, my uncut channel has passed my main channel. My uncut channel isn't my second channel. It's just my uncut channel. I see my like. Can you say my second channel? I guess, but I think my second channel is more like Jimmy Chong Live. That's what the clips is. That's what like the algorithm pushing is. I'm about to go meditate now, but I want to say one the last thing. One the last. One the last. Thing. One the last. Isn't that a drug? Okay, so right. Hate never comes from above. It is the biggest thing. A lazy throne of the week. Which was a good quote by me. I think someone else has made a similar quote. Correct me if I'm wrong. 
the lasers on the weak. Excellent selfish. I think the biggest thing is hate never comes more of if the only people look down you for exercise, they look down you for work, work in business, they look down you for improving your mental health of the depressed people or the broke people or the fat and lazy people. You know, you're like, oh, Jimmy, you know, that, that, that's, that's rude and that's uh, fatphobic. Bro, I was obese. Say something, motherfucker, I was fat too. I was fat as fuck. I was unhappy in my life. Severely unhappy in my life. Very depressed, very anxious, very broke. I was there, I was very short as well, I was there, I'm telling you, making this video to tell you guys, be selfish, prioritize yourself, there's nothing more important than this life than you, and if your mental health sucks, and you're in a strange situation, how about you try to get out of the situation, how about you try to do, you're doing you're trying to make incremental movements, you're a massive improvement, grab life by the balls, be selfish by your own priorities in life, being selfish is one of the best things I've ever, I've ever done to myself, Seriously, I'm selfish because I don't want to spend time with stupid video gaming geeks, waste my time with them anymore. I'm selfish because I'd rather do exercise and run alone and work on the, uh, work on the business right alone and work on YouTube right alone than waste my time on stupid activities that don't really pay me back in anything. Like my friend was inviting me to play video games again after like a long time I haven't talked to him. Like, oh yeah, let's play video games to like, you know, rekindle this friendship. I thought to myself, like, why the fuck would I want to do that? And they're not like you? No. Because I was like you before. And I hate myself. So I'm not going to end up like you. I'm not going to do the same bad shit. People need to really hear this. Like, the people that really need to hear this message. The people that really need to get selfish for their own lives. And to abandon the bad habits. Like video games, drugs, and uh, porn social media, they won't watch this video, they won't understand this video, they won't, how do I say this, consume this type of content, they will consume the mind and entertainment type of content, like I was on Fade stream earlier, and I paused the stream to record this video, and there's nothing really interesting about this, Fade is really good, but there's nothing too interesting about this, in all honesty, it's not that good. What is playing? I love fade. This is a lot. This is this one. Don't run away from me. Don't run away from me. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> okay, put down. He's chilling, guys. Not a domestic abuser. A domestic cat abuser. The last thing I wanted to say. Look at my hair pointing out. I catch. Does anyone ever do that? That looks kind of stupid. Catch you guys in the next video. Why is this tail moving so ferociously? Oh, I can't show you. Show you? Show you? Soy sauce.